was to fik to just one point of uh, something that we must be cautious about is that see many a time you will get leaders you will get presidents and whatever there will be a certain concern and they will speak about it and sometimes it's a concern even from a dini perspective like for example our uh president of the country in the last president's address so he spoke about the violence against women right which is a it's a concern right and deen you know teaches us so much and how you know, the rights of women hmm, and how they should be taken care of and how much akhlaq a man should show towards his wife how loving he should be and caring and considerate all these things are there in our deen So sometimes we don't know what's in our deen, and then when we hear some uh, president or king or politician or minister or activist or something say something, then it sounds like, hey, you know what? Yeah, nobody is talking about this, you know. Ji, so that is in our deen. So the president, what he said, what he spoke about, you know, violence against women and all that, it's a genuine thing that you know it's happening. right is happening sometimes it's because of his own actions that it's happening because he has put people into such a situation i'm not saying justifying their actions but he put people into such a situation financially and frustrations and all that that because of that then the outcome was all this violence against the women and all that right so i'm not justifying the men but sometimes he should have thought also a little bit more before he made all these regulations and all that what is doing and how it's an impact on people's lives etc but khair he did a something you know that was uh, uh what you know unnatural so then you get unnatural consequences also you know you get unnatural reactions also but that doesn't make it right for anybody to be violent against women etc but khair the the thing that i want to caution you against is that what happens now when this type of thing when he now for example he spoke like that now you are getting muslim people muslim people who now also start taking up this fight which is a good thing they start taking up this fight but then they want to go beyond the sharia now they want to go beyond the sharia So what the Sharia has explained, that much is sufficient. You don't need anything more. If a person is within the Sharia and the Sunnah, then he is in the height of piety. Hmm? He's making amal on the Sunnah and the Sharia, then that is piety. That is being pious and nek, and he is a good husband, right? But now you get some female activists or even males or whatever they may be. Now they want to take this a step beyond. what shariat is saying now that's a dangerous thing now for example this one woman and unfor that's why i tell you there's no such thing as an islamic tv and this woman she is actually being given space on what they call itv it's not islamic tv there's nothing islamic about the tv but she is now going to be given an opportunity on that tv station right now what is her views her views is that if a man wants to go to the masjid right he must get permission from his wife now according to her she standing up for women's rights now who gave women that right now who gave women that right that if a man wants to go to the masjid he must get permission from his wife and now she supposed to be a muslima Right? and she is tweeting this type of thing and then they give her a platform to speak now even if they are anti what she is saying but they giving her that platform to speak the poison is going to go out there hmm? the poison is going to go out there the, the venom the poison that she is going to spit out you can't stop it now uh, people are going to listen to it they're going to take it which way they want it right then another thing she mentioned in her tweets is that no if a man wants to have marital relations with his wife 
So you must get her consent. And then she equates it to rape. She equates this thing to rape. A married man now wants to have relation with his wife. So he must get her consent. right? And if not, then she is equating it. That is like a rape. Now, what does Dean teach? That the lady, if the husband needs to fulfill his conjugal right, she must avail herself. Even if she is at the stove, even if she is at the stove, she must leave what she is doing and she must avail herself to her husband. That is what Dean is teaching. And if she doesn't do this, she doesn't have any shari'i reason and she does not avail herself for her husband, then the malaika curse her the whole night. <coughs> now this woman who is supposed to be a Muslimah, now she is tweeting this kind of thing, and then Muslim women are answering to her tweets, at least somebody is standing up for us. Is this Iman? What is this? What is this? So we have to be very, very careful. You see this phone, this phone, is such a devil, such a devil, because we don't even have control anymore of what our own children are looking at, what our wives are looking at, and not every information is suitable for everyone. People read this information and then they don't know how to digest it, they don't know how to interpret it, they don't know what is the Shari ruling. And then they just run with these kind of things and they start making statements, etc. Which can be detrimental to their amal, detrimental to their deen, detrimental to everything, their ruhaniyat and everything. Hmm? So one is what, now they're talking about this violence against women and all that. Yes, definitely, you can't have violence against women. But then now to start affording them rights which Allah Pak didn't give them, now where that came from now? You can't go beyond the Shariat now and start to afford them rights, which is not their right. So we have to be very, very careful. That's why I tell you, whether it's a radio station and they call themselves an Islamic radio station, be careful, be careful. On the internet too, it can call itself an Islamic site. Be careful of what we take from them. Right? And there is no such thing as an Islamic TV station. There is no such thing as that. That's totally alien to our deen. There's no such thing as Islamic TV station. Right? And our women folk also caution them. In our homes, we got bayans of akabirin, our mashayikh, we got talks, etc. What is the need to, for entertainment with radios? You want to listen to some kirat, put some kirat on. You want to listen to some nice bayan, there's bayan, so many bayans of our akamirin. But to expose ourselves to these radio stations and all that, they just put anything and everything on there which, because they need to grip the audience. See? need to grip the audience, so they must keep the audience entertained. So even if you have to get a character who's... Uh, gay or you get a character who now is making this kind of tweets or you get a character whatever is happening in the political arena at that time now whether that person's views are in accordance with the shariat or against the shariat or whatever uh, that person must be given some airtime because then we will get a lot of listenership and viewership that's their objectives right? so we have to we can't go and fight with everybody and tell everybody what they must do with their lives. But for our Islam and our reformation, we must be careful what we are listening to, what our children are listening to, what our wives are listening to. Otherwise, we end up with major, major problems in our own homes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, give me tawfiq, give you tawfiq, grant the entire ummah tawfiq. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik Nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta